Hello everybody, just wanted to welcome you once again to another Cooking with Dinoy episode. As you can see I've got rice cooking in my rice cooker inside of Little Blue too. The switch is thrown, the engine is running, the inverter is working to power my rice cooker. And while the rice is cooking, I'm also charging up the battery that I use to run the fan and the other power pack that I use to um, run, you know, charge the phone and other USB devices. So I'm taking advantage of the fact that I'm um, charging up the house battery right now by running the car, basically wasting gas. Not really wasting it, I'm actually burning gas. But while I'm doing that, I'm also cooking um, and charging up batteries. I'm doing multiple things. But... Um, I'm also planning, although it's uh, sprinkling right now, the sky is like turning black and it's sprinkling. I'm also planning on cooking using the rocket stove to save fuel on the butane stove that I have at the yurt. So we're going to be cooking out here and all I'm really going to cook today is something really simple. Scrambled eggs. I'm just going to use a regular little pot and a little pan here with a little bit of oil. Uh, my body seasoning or complete seasoning and some um, crushed onions. And um, that's pretty much it, just uh, scrambled eggs and rice. Uh, the reason for that is just to save money. This is a very cheap meal. I can eat a, a meal that'll fill me up for less than 50 cents, probably about 25 cents. So um, it's a really good way to save money if you're tight. Um, eating rice with eggs is good protein, fills you up. I know that um, you should probably eat other things like vegetables and fruits, but you know, if your budget is super tight, this is at least food in your tummy. And I also try to take uh, multiple vitamins just to compensate for lack of um, veggies and stuff at present. Before I cook the eggs, I basically test them by putting them into water. See if they sink or float. And, you know, if they sink, they're good to go. I've already tested all three eggs, so they are good. But just wanted to show you what I'm doing. Then I'm simply just going to mix it in here and um, put everything on the stove and um, start cooking. I've uh, cracked the eggs and now it's a simple matter of adding the other ingredients. You can use this total seasoning, casero, which is similar to the badia. Put some of that in there and some um, chopped onions. And I'm just going to beat it with this uh, fork and then put it onto the stove. The eggs have been beaten and now it's just a matter of adding it here to this um, frying pan here. I had some um, oil I put in there already. And I'm just going to do like I did when I cooked it at the yurt, kind of slosh it around. I think I might have used a little bit too much oil here. But I'm going to go ahead and put the, the lid on it to... Um, Help it cook better, so it kind of bake as well as uh, fry here. The main thing to remember when you're cooking out here on the rocket stove is to keep adding fuel every so often because it burns out pretty fast, especially if you're using the fronds. They make a great fuel source, but they do burn out really fast because they're thin. It looks like the eggs are ready for me to flip, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip it over and um, see if we can't get the other side to cook. I um, flipped over the eggs, as you can see, and I'm going to let the other side cook up now. The reason I uh, put the lid on it is, I don't know if you can see the um, embers and stuff flying up. I don't want that flying into the food. So putting the lid on it helps to protect the food from the flying embers, and it also helps the food to kind of bake so it cooks even faster. My rice in the rice cooker is already done, so as soon as the eggs are done, it's time for lunch. See you. I shut the um, the power off. Oops, forgot to throw the switch here. I shut the engine off so the car is no longer um, running to save gas. But the battery here is still charging all the other systems. Let me see how much power we got. It's 12.1, which is low. Actually, I need to unplug the rice cooker. I uh, ended up plugging the rice cooker into this system right here, 
directly instead of um, into the back just to simplify it because I'm not using the back kitchenette anymore. I've been using just the front because I've been cooking at the yurt and cooking on the rocket stove. So it saves fuel. And because I don't cook in the back, there's no reason to have the cable that goes back there, which gives me um, power like through this multi-plug outlet right here, which isn't being used right now. But it can be used. I mean, this kitchenette's still functional. I can set it up and use it. did use this cheapo Dollar Tree, I think it was Dollar Tree, extra virgin olive oil blend. I think I got it from Dollar Tree. But anyhow, this is uh, cooking with Denoy. It looks like the food's about done. Ooh, it's puffed up, so I'm sure it's done. Did you see that? It rose up. So I'm pretty sure the food is done. So let me get it off from there. Set it over here somewhere. I don't know if I want to set it on that. That's my spare. But we'll set it out here, maybe on a, um, a tie or something. And I'll flip it over and have um, lunch. Here then is my um, fried egg and rice lunch, or brunch. Not bad for a 20, 25 cent meal, huh? And uh, the significance of this meal is that the eggs are um, a good source of protein. And I can keep them out here, you know, f for a long time um, without refrigeration. So I can't afford to have meat out here all the time, only when my I make a run to the city. So it's nice to have um, eggs handy because I can just test them with the water test by filling a cup with water. Seeing if the egg sinks or floats. If it sinks, it's good. If it floats, it's bad. And um, right now, I've had the eggs over more than a week, and they're still good. And I basically cook up two or three eggs per meal. And the eggs were on sale at Walmart for like 88 cents for a dozen. And even when they're not on sale, it's like a dollar or something. And so with uh, a dozen eggs, you could have a meal, uh, a really decent meal for a whole week. And if you, you know, are like me, Asian, you can eat it with rice every day. So it's a really great meal. And because I'm cooking on this uh, rocket stove out here, using fronds and wood, the cost to cook is very, very minimal. I do use electricity to cook my rice, which I don't really need to. I could conceivably boil water and cook rice over an open flame. But I prefer to go ahead and use the electricity um, to cook the rice in the um, rice cooker. It's a 300 watt rice cooker being cooked off a 750 watt inverter. There's my rice cooker with the rice in there. And the reason I prefer that is so that um, I can start the engine up to charge up the house battery and all these batteries that I'm using for the yurt to um, generate electricity. Because some of you are wondering how I get power to run the fan every night and charge up my phone and other devices. This is how I do it. So I'm looking to get another battery to build a, a big battery pack like this to keep in the van and then take it to the yurt um, when I'm here because a battery pack that's done this big with a um, 100 amp hour battery in it would probably last a whole week inside the yurt without needing to be recharged. These batteries that I have right now I have to charge every day, which is kind of a pain but not really because I can come out here and I can cook while I'm charging the batteries. So I just run the engine for about 15 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. I charge up the batteries and um, cook food. Well, until next time, everybody, bon appetit. I hope you have good eating. I thought I should um, go ahead and show this just in case others are having to do the same thing here. Because my diet is kind of limited right now um, due to being out here at the yurt and um, trying not to go into the city unless I have to. It means that I'm having to eat um, basically not many um, vegetables and stuff unless I get canned stuff, which I may start doing. But because I'm trying to watch the budget, like even spending one dollar on an item is kind of expensive right now. So I um, have been buying stuff like eggs because like a dozen eggs is less than a dollar and that lasts like a whole week. So I mean it's a dollar and I'm going to eat for the whole week on it. But... Um, to help supplement the lack of nutrition and minerals and whatnot, I recommend taking these, um, not so much the Equate, but like once a day multivitamins for men or women. I have this one here for men 50 plus, and um, I will be taking that as well as um, other medications that I need to take. But anyhow, I um, just recommend taking um, these daily because they can help supplement your, um, your nutrition in case you're not getting the um, adequate nutrition from what you're eating.